This is the commissioner meeting of November 23rd, 2021 at 6 14 p.m. Sussex County Community College Performing Arts Center, Newton, New Jersey. Terry, would you please call the roll? Commissioner Carney? Here. Director Fantasia? Here. Commissioner Fasano? Here. Commissioner Pillow? Yes. Commissioner At this time, I would invite you to please join me in standing for a moment of silence and a salute to the flag. Pursuant to the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, adequate notice as defined by Section 3D of Chapter 231, PL 1975, has been made by regular mail and email, such notice being submitted on September 15, 2021, from the Administrative Center of the County of Sussex, located at 1 Spring Street, Newton, New Jersey, to the following. New Jersey Herald, Star Ledger, WSUS Radio, and WNNJ Radio and is also posted on the bulletin board maintained in the Administrative Center for Public Announcements and has been submitted to the Sussex County Clerk in compliance with said act. At this time, please mute all electronic devices. Number five is approval of the agenda. I need a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. And discussion. Uh, first, there are a couple things. Please note the correct date for the minutes to be approved is November 9th, 2021. Also, we are tabling two items on this agenda this evening. And that is items I, a resolution establishing amendments to health benefits policy for Sussex County retirees and dependents, and J, resolution authorizing the renewal of an agreement between Sussex County and Horizon Healthcare Services, DBA Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, Horizon BC BSNJ to provide medical benefit administration and services for retirees of the County of Sussex for the term of January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022 in the estimated amount of $3,978,247. I'd like to note that H, the resolution authorizing the renewal of an agreement between Sussex County retirees and Benicard services to provide prescription benefit administration and services for the County of Sussex for the term of January 1st, 2022 to December 31st, 2022 in an estimated amount of $3,143,525 is the only one of the three resolutions regarding retiree health benefits that will be acted on this evening. Um, the reason for my request to table is we have received additional information um, from different sources that we have shared with uh, our attorneys and we feel as a board it warrants much further review before any formal action on such, uh, such measures. So I would need a motion. Director. I would uh, also like to add to the agenda uh, an executive session mm -hmm. uh, to be covering item four with no action to be taken after executive session. Okay. Item four being matters related yes. to collective bargaining agreements. I see. Okay, so at this time, I would need a motion to approve the agenda as amended. So moved. And a second? Second. Discussion? 
All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Pass. Uh, number six is proclamation, certifications, and presentations. Uh, I need a motion to adopt the proclamations. So moved. And a second. Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Pass. Okay, we have two proclamations. One, recognizing Jacob Bowden as Eagle Scout, achieved December 16th, 2019. And B, is recognizing Alexander McVeigh as Eagle Scout, achieved July 28th, 2021. I believe that those are going to be presented live. Yes. So those individuals are not here. So one of the commissioners will be attending each of those events. Number seven, public hearings, there are none. Number eight is public session from the floor. Now we have two public sessions at each meeting. This specific public session is for those wishing to make a comment of three minutes or less regarding an agenda item. Please line up at the microphone and maintain six feet social distance with other attendees. Please state your name, your municipality, and the agenda topic for the record. So at this time, I need a motion to open the floor for public comment. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, at this time, the floor is open for public comment on agenda items. Good afternoon. My name is Kieran McMorrow. It's my honor and privilege to represent the members of uh, PBA Local 138. Uh, I'm going to be very quick. I know it's been pulled from the agenda. I'm sorry, your, your municipality? Frieden Township. I just wanted to thank the commissioners tonight for tabling uh, resolution I. Thank you. <clears throat> Hi, good evening, Christina Marks, Franklin, New Jersey. Um, I am the uh, president for Branch 10 for CWA Local 1032, and on behalf of our members and retirees, I just want to take this opportunity to thank the board for doing their further due diligence in, in reviewing aspects of those proposed changes, which we do feel um, need to be negotiated and handled in a separate matter. So thank you very much. <laughs> Seeing no one else coming forward, I need a motion to close the floor to public comment for agenda items. So moved. And a second? Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Pass. Next, we move on to commissioner's comments. We're going to begin this evening with uh, Commissioner Carney. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Director. Uh, just a quick update on our guide rail upgrade program. Um, just to go over the locations, we have County Route 565 from Pelletown Road to County Route 628 and 639. That's in Frankfurt and Wanage Township. Uh, other damage, substandard location as, as may be identified countywide in, uh, as resources permit. The contractor on that is Road Safety Systems. I feel like you can't hear me. That's Drew Morris, uh, County Cooperative Pricing Council contract. Just give me a minute. You guys don't hear, want to hear what I have to say? <laughs> I'm hungry too. Uh, replacement for the rail cost is $35 a foot. Tangent terminals that the ends that they're going to the ends are $3,100 a piece. The Sussex County 2021 capital funds is $1,350,000. This project began on Wednesday, November 10th of this year, and schedule is subject to change based on weather and or unforeseen circumstances. Uh, traffic impacts expect delays and work to be conducted under single lane flagger controlled closures. Uh, NJ Department, New Jersey Department of Transportation County Aid pro Program, the New Jersey Department of Transportation, NJDOT, announced the fiscal year 2022 NJ DOT County Aid Program, under which Sussex County will receive an fiscal year 2022 County Aid allotment of $5,014,293. Uh, 
The NJDOT County Aid Pro Program is funded through the New Jersey Transportation Trust Fund and represents a significant component of the county's annual capital transportation program. The Department of Engineering and Planning has forwarded to the board for its review and consideration a recommended fiscal year 2022 annual transportation program, commonly known as the ATP. The, AP, A, A, the APT serves as the basis for allocation of the fiscal 2022 county aid funds. The APT recommends fiscal year 2022 county aid program funds be combined with Sussex County Capital Funds to fully fund a plus or minus 28 mile fiscal year 2023 county route resurfacing program estimated at $8.2 million. Resurfacing is the final technique used as part of the county payment management program to maintain county routes in a desirable condition and extend the service life of the roadway pavement box. Quality roads directly benefit all county citizens is one of the factors helping support an economic viability in the area. I was on a meeting today with Commissioner Fasano uh, going over um, the bridge replacement and tunnel in Andover on 206. Um, it's, it's three years away, but there was a lot of concerns with traffic. That, that, that's going to be shut down. That whole bridge will be shut down for, for nine months. And that's probably nine months, seven days a week, at least two hour shifts, or two eight hour shifts, rather. Um, so there's a lot of concerns on that. Bill Copenhall is taking the lead. So he's putting something together and will we'll let all the municipalities going forward uh, give them all the information um, concerning that. Um, it's, it's definitely going to be an impact on 206 major corridor getting leaving and coming to Sussex County. So uh, I think our heads are on, I think everybody's on the same term is, is con concerned with our roads, especially heavy trucks going on those back roads, those local municipalities is going right through Andover Borough. So hopefully we can figure something out. Yes, that, I think that there's an underground culvert there, which many people don't know. I, I didn't know that when it was first brought to my attention, which is a big factor. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys uh, posted on that as we get more information. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> uh, next, we'll move on to Commissioner Patillo. Thank you. I have a message from our senior services. Our Center for Lifelong Learning at the Sussex County Community College will have a Zoom presentation on financial planning on the heels of COVID-19. The Center for Lifelong Learning will offer a presentation on Thursday, December 2nd at 3 p.m. via Zoom or telephone. Learn about financial planning and retirement strategies, including Social Security, investment and savings, portfolios and maintaining overall financial health a year after COVID-19. For more information, you can please call the Sussex County Division of Senior Services at 973-579-0555, extension 1277. Now our social services is going to have a commissioner's volunteer appreciation breakfast for Sussex County Social Services food pantry volunteers, and that will be Tuesday, December 7th. Uh, 2021 everyone is invited to come it's going to be a nice morning it's at 9 a.m um, i also had the opportunity to attend the economic development award luncheon on friday and it was a, it was really a wonderful event i'd like to congratulate all the businesses that were recognized this year and also a special congratulations to dr john Connolly, who was awarded the distinctive leadership award this year uh, the Economic Development Partnership presented a new special award. It was called the COVID-19 Recognition and Honor Award. They gave that award to Newton Medical Ho uh, Center, Sheriff Strada, Sussex County OEM, the County Administrator and Health Department for being on the front lines of the pandemic and protecting the county. Stuff the bus. The food drive took place over this past weekend and it was a wonderful success. Donations are still flowing into the pantry, but so far over 60,000 pounds of food, over $12,000 in monetary donations, and over 300 turkeys were collected during this year's Stuff the Bus food drive, which benefits the social services food pantry and ultimately Sussex County residents in need. The County of Sussex would like to send a warm thank you to Radio Talons, Barazio, Steve Andrews, Steve Allen, WNNJ 103.7, 
WSUS 102.3, Max 106.3, ShopRite, Lakeland Bank, Police Chiefs and Officers from Byram and Sparta Police Departments, Franklin Sussex Auto Mall, Skydens Ride, Food Pantry Volunteers, Social Service Employees, and countless community supporters, as well as the people and businesses who served as the collection site and or donated to make this food drive such a success. If anyone is in need of food for themselves or their family or neighbors, Please call the Division of Social Services at 973-383-3600 from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. And please let them know if you need any more additional information or any additional help. Um, with that, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. I'm sorry everybody left before I could do that. And I uh, just want to wish everybody that's still here a very happy and a very blessed and restful Thanksgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Deputy Director Fasano. Well, thank you, Director, and thanks to all who uh, are still here and joined us this evening. I'll keep my report brief this morning, and I'll pick up right where Commissioner Carney left off with our meeting this morning with municipalities to discuss uh, a potential uh, road closure in Route 206 in Andover many years uh, away. Uh, but more importantly, what I think our role as a county needs to be and, and what I thought was important, uh, an important takeaway from that meeting is we're dealing with a state project that will have real consequences here in Sussex County, uh, a portion, a big portion of Route 206 being closed for at least nine months is a massive inconvenience for us here in Sussex County. And what I think our role needs to be is taking the concerns of the, of the municipalities impacted and making their voice louder at the state level. Uh, certainly, I think a project like that is being done not because anybody just felt like it. Uh, there's merit behind the work that needs to be done. Uh, but there's also consequences to uh, those types of actions, such as, as what Chris mentioned, uh, secondary roads at best. Uh, all of a sudden being used as primary roads for much larger vehicles, with bus stops, with security concerns. Uh, those issues need to be addressed uh, for our municipalities, and if we can play a role in helping as a county to the state, uh, we should and we will. Uh, so I'm happy uh, that that meeting took place. I know that there will be subsequent meetings taking place to uh, uh, continue this linear line of thinking and bringing uh, real concrete suggestions to the state uh, as Chris mentioned, uh, Bill Coppinall, our county engineer, uh, will take the lead on that, and I think that's great. Um, some other things that we're working on, of course, is the budget. Uh, that continues along its process, uh, and I'm encouraged with what I'm seeing there. And the same with American Rescue Plan planning. Uh, and as I mentioned, and Christina, I still see you in the room, and I know you brought this attention to us, uh, to our attention uh, many, many months ago, uh, it still remains the board's number one priority uh, is hazard pay or premium pay or whatever we want to call it uh, for our county employees. Uh, I also want to mention that booster shots are coming here to Sussex County. Uh, we will have more information about that from a COVID-19 perspective. And as always, please visit our website, sussex.nj.us, for more information on all of that. And I also wanted to uh, just... Uh, make a mention of it now before we get to it later on in our agenda. Uh, item 12A, which is the appointment of Candace Smith to be a member of the Sussex County College Board of Trustees. Uh, I think this will be a phenomenal appointment for us. Uh, I've known Candace for many, many years. I've had the opportunity to serve with her uh, on the school board in Hopacon many years ago, and I have no doubt that she's going to be an excellent advocate for Sussex County Community College its students, and I think just as importantly, uh, the board focusing on student achievement inside and outside of the classroom. So I'm really excited for her. I'm really excited for this institution um, and excited to see what she brings to the table and what she brings to our table as well uh, here at the commissioner board. So with that, um, I know it's a short week. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm thankful to be here. Uh, thankful for all of you for being here as well. That concludes my report. Thank you. Um, just to 
Hop on real quick to something that uh, Commissioner Fasano had said uh, as far as the American Rescue Plan funds. Thank you to Katie for sending us a pretty detailed breakdown of what some of our neighbors across the state may be doing in different counties and municipalities, and that kind of helps us shape what ours will look like uh, in the, its final inception, what a rollout could look like. Um, I'm going to begin with health department updates again. As um, Anthony had mentioned, the next upcoming clinic for uh, COVID-19 booster shots will be on Tuesday, November 30th, 2021, from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Sandiston Municipal Building, 133 County Road 645 in Sandiston. Also, I just want to make note that the Sussex County Division of Health collaborated with Sparta Pharmacy to offer Moderna, J&J, uh, &J, and Pfizer um, in addition to the flu vaccine. So if you're interested and it's something that you choose to have done, you can certainly um, contact Sparta Pharmacy. So as far as vaccination rates here in the county, uh, Sussex County residents are administered a total of 190,531 vaccines. Um, and we have at this point, 9,506 booster shots were given. So if you're trying to figure out, you know, the population of Sussex County, that's about where we're at as a county. Also, COVID-19 testing continues uh, to be offered. As you know, uh, thank you to the governor's executive order, there are some places of work that require vaccinations or uh, negative testing. Uh, the county of Sussex does uh, provide free testing um, through at-home kits through LabCorp and Vault. One is the nasal swab test, one is the saliva test for uh, children as well as the saliva test. So if you're interested, please visit the county website for that. Um, our epidemiologist has reported to us the following that our uh, CLI, that COVID-like illness, COVID weekly report that comes out from the state, we are still code yellow, which is considered moderate. We're averaging about 50 cases a day seem to be coming in. Um, the county has a total of 18,921 cases. It's about 13.5% of our population and a total of 350 deaths. Now to talk about hospitalizations, November so far, we have had uh, 36 hospitalizations from the 1st through the 19th. In October, we actually had 69 hospitalizations. So. Hopefully, we're, we're looking at a hair under if it stays on that trajectory of October. We currently have nine outbreaks in the county, um, one acute care facility and five long-term care facilities of staff and residents. Now, we have like 19, I believe, long-term care facilities and acute care in the county, so about a third of those ha have an outbreak. Uh, two group homes have an outbreak, and one business office has an outbreak reported. Now, an outbreak as defined by the state, I mean, it, it sounds like a scary word, like, ooh, outbreak. What that is, I know in schools, it is three or more cases that originate and are traced back to spreading actually in that location. So if you work at a, at a company and three people have COVID, doesn't mean that it's an outbreak. They could have picked it up in the community and whatnot. This is only considered an outbreak if the spread took place actually in that facility or in that location. So that's how an outbreak is defined. Uh, for more information about um, Anything to do with COVID, uh, vaccinations, testing, and also the other health uh, services offered by the county, please visit sussex.nj.us. And you can always call the Office of Public Health Nursing, 973-579-0570. Um, I did want to make mention that all of the commissioners did receive in their email the October 2021 financials as well as the solar reports. Uh, based on the year-to-date information, we look to be closing the year in a fairly good revenue position. In November, we've received 100% of tax payments from the municipalities. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out directly to ELCA. Uh, the next few weeks are going to be a very busy time for the finance department as they're closing out the year. So we just want to offer our thanks to the hard work that they've put in. Uh, to be honest, it's been one hell of a year. Uh, for everybody, it wasn't just confined to 2020. 2021 was a raging encore. So I just want to thank uh, our finance department for, for their hard work and their, their fiscal prudence throughout the year. 
myself, Commissioner Carney, I believe Commissioner Patillo, uh, Commissioner Yardley were at the League of Municipalities conference. It was back in person after having a hiatus uh, the year prior due to uh, being postponed because of COVID. Uh, it was a little bit more subdued than past years, maybe not as crowded. Uh, I was actually able to go to, uh, I made it a point uh, to attend uh, the woman who needs no introduction, Judith Persicelli's uh, presentation at the League of Municipalities, and she actually spoke on the state of the state's health. And, um, you know, again, talked about the, the different levels of the outbreaks, and then segued into different things about, um, you know, lead and lead remediation and, and things like that across the state. But for the first half an hour, it was, you know, predominantly uh, about COVID and. Uh, there wasn't an opportunity for any kind of question and answer. Commissioner Carney and I positioned ourselves right in the front row to get to get a real bird's eye view of that. And unfortunately, we were not able to ask any questions. But if you have been watching the news at all, you would absolutely see that uh, Andover Subacute, now renamed, has been squarely in the news and in the national news in uh, People Magazine, in USA Today, uh, for the fact that it has reopened and still has lackluster oversight. Uh, happening there and again they are directly under the purview of the New Jersey Department of Health for supervision uh, I also would like to report that in this past election there was a county ballot question and that county ballot question asked if the residents supported an independent investigation of what had happened there because currently the investigation for that facility and others is being led by uh, the New Jersey Attorney General, which has now switched. It, it is no longer uh, Attorney General Gruel. Uh, it is another Murphy appointee, and this board felt that an independent investigation was necessary because we did not feel that a direct appointee of the governor was able to adequately investigate the New Jersey Department of Health nor the governor's administration's role in what happened at those facilities. So also we have requested uh, multiple documents via OPRA uh, in 2020 to get to the bottom of exactly what had happened and why our health department and why the county hit so many brick walls trying to get information as that horror unfolded. We've been blocked at every turn by the state of New Jersey. We were put off. We were told our last communication was in August of 2020 that asked for an additional extension. And then lo and behold, the governor issued uh, another of his endless executive orders with the magic pen, which effectively uh, protected any documents due to the public health emergency. While that's not good enough, um, I've spoken with you know, the members of the board and with our legal counsel about what our next legal steps will be uh, to, again, attempt to obtain that information and along with, you know, our district representatives here in, in Sussex County, our, our representatives down in Trenton, we had a solidified team that was 100% lockstep and in agreement that this is absolutely not acceptable. And now that we see a facility like Andover is uh, renamed, reopened, and a whistleblower did come forward and was interviewed on national TV stating exactly what he witnessed happening there. Uh, we vowed that this will not happen again. So this board is uh, locked and loaded to move forward on this governor's administration and the lack of information shared uh, with the county of Sussex in whatever efforts we can have to help protect uh, the most vulnerable of our population. So just a little update, uh, our visit to Atlantic City for the league and to see the woman who needs no introduction did not necessarily yield us any results, but I am confident that our actions moving forward will yield us some results and some protections for especially our elderly. So that is my two cents for this evening, and uh, we're going to move on to the next item. And that is number 10, the approval of the consent agenda. Board of the County Commissioners of the County of Sussex has reviewed the consent agenda consisting of various proposed resolutions and determined that adoption of the said resolutions is in and will further the public interest. If any commissioner would like to remove an item to be considered separately, please do so now. So I need a motion to adopt the consent agenda A through I. So moved. And a second. Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Have a safe trip home. Thank you Pass. for coming. Thank you. Thank you. 
Number 11, the approval of the minutes. The regular meeting, November 9th, 2021. Executive session, November 9th, 2021. There's a note on here. Commissioner Fasano is not eligible to vote due to absence. Huh. What's that? Tam. Yeah, right? You wanted to come forward with that. Okay, so I need a motion to approve the minutes from the regular meeting and executive session. So moved. And a second? Second. Discussion? Terry, for this, would you please call the roll? I will abstain. Director Fantasia? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Commissioner Clark? Yes. Pass. Number 12, appointments and or resignations. Here's a resolution for the appointment of Candace Smith as a member of the Sussex County Community College Board of Trustees, said term to expire October 31st, 2025. I need a motion to adopt this appointment. So, so moved. moved. Okay, I'll second it. Discussion? Terry, please call the roll. Yes. 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 Pass. Number 13, resolutions. I need a motion to approve, I'm sorry, adopt resolutions A through H and K through N. So moved. At a second. Second. Discussion? <clears throat> Uh, roll call, please. Yes. 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 Number 14, awards of contract change orders and bid. The Board of County Commissioners of the County of Sussex has reviewed the award of contract change orders bids consisting of various proposed resolutions and determined that adoption of the said resolutions is in and will further the public interest. We need a motion to adopt resolutions A through D. So moved. And a second? Second. Discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner yes. Director yes. Yes. Commissioner yes. 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 Number 15, financial uh, resolution for the payment of the bills list, November 23rd, 2021. I need a motion to pay the bills list. So moved. And a second. Second. Discussion? Please call the roll. Commissioner yes. Director yes. 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 Pass. Number 16, personnel agenda. There is none. Uh, 17, administrative report. Uh, Mr. Poff. Thank you, Director. Uh, as the director had mentioned, uh, as far as our financial update, uh, we are expected to close the year in a good revenue position. Appropriations overall uh, are below budgeted amounts as we've not filled a number of vacancies and see cost savings in, another, in a number of other appropriations. Uh, we have concluded both the operating budget hearings as well as the capital project hearings and are uh, doing our evaluation in preparation of our first draft 2022 budget and we'll be reaching back out to both the operating budget subcommittee as well as the capital projects committee uh, to get additional input as to how we further refine those documents. As uh, Commissioner Patillo had mentioned, the Economic Development Partnership had its annual business awards program last week and as she indicated, the County of Sussex received a special award related to COVID-19 response. Uh, I was uh, honored to accept the award on behalf of the county, uh, which I have here this evening. I just want to show everybody, and it says COVID-19, special appreciation and recognition presented to the County of Sussex by the Sussex County Economic Development Partnership Incorporated 2021 and just wanted to share an excerpt of what was read at the uh, awards ceremony. In early 2020, the Division of Health began receiving reports of a global respiratory illness, which would be what would uh, be declared the COVID-19, a global pandemic on March 11th, 2020. The county activated its emergency preparedness team within the Division of Health to implement the county's response to this global pandemic. In cooperation with the Sheriff's Office of Emergency Management, 
The emergency preparedness team began planning for a COVID-19 testing site at the Sussex County Community College, eventually testing more than 370 individuals over four weeks' time. In addition to complying with the numerous executive orders issued by the governor, the emergency preparedness team continued to communicate with the public, its municipal partners, and state health officials, promoting public health best practices and preparing for the vaccination of county residents. Working in partnership with the Sussex County Fairgrounds, the emergency preparedness team opened a countywide vaccination site in January 2021. Over the next five months, staff and Medical Reserve Corps volunteers administered more than 18,500 doses of vaccine. The Division of Health continues to provide COVID-19 vaccines, including booster shots at pop-up clinics held throughout the county. The Division of Health also provides weekly in-depth statistical reports about COVID-related infections to keep the public informed about the impact of the pandemic and its impact on county residents. The hard work and tireless efforts of county staff and volunteers has protected residents and promoted public health to county residents, students, and businesses throughout this historic event. And also would just like to give congratulations to Sheriff Strada and the Office of Emergency Management, as well as Newton Medical Center that shared in this uh, recognition by the Economic Development Partnership. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next 18, our County Council report. Thank you, Director. Um, I just have one brief matter I wanted to bring to the Commissioner's attention tonight. Um, as you may recall, the ongoing opioid litigation on the national level, um, a tentative settlement agreement was reached. As you may recall, back in July, New Jersey um, made the determination to participate in that settlement and deadlines were set for municipalities and counties to show their intent to participate. Um, and then recently, the county received the actual settlement documents, which will be contingent upon um, participation by states, counties, and municipalities across the country. Um, we are in the midst of reviewing those settlement documents and in the next few weeks, um, anticipate providing the commissioners with a synopsis of that settlement agreement and a proposed uh, resolution for your consideration in participating in that settlement. Um, at this point, um, just for a little background information, the amount of the settlement is unknown. It will be dependent on the number of participants, government participants. So we won't have a certain dollar amount at this time um, until the settlement actually goes through. Um, and that's all I have to report. Thank you. Uh, number 19 is unfinished business. Does any commissioner have unfinished business? Uh, number 20, new business. Number 21, public session from the floor. This public session is for those wishing to make general comments of three minutes or less on non-agenda topics. Please line up at the microphone and maintain six feet social distance with other attendees. Please state your name and municipality for the record. So I need a motion to open the floor for public comment. So moved. Second? Second. Discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The floor is open for public session. Seeing no one come forward, I need a motion to close the floor for public so comment. So moved. Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, next, we have reminders. Please check the county website, www.sussex.njus, for meeting schedules. Uh, Commissioner Patillo, uh, the parade is Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Um, we have to line up. We have to be there by 930. Okay. So 930? Yeah. Okay. Holiday parade, 930. Be there. Dress warm. Yes, <laughs> most definitely. It's always a fun parade. Though. It is. It is. Okay. Uh, 23 executive session. This is a resolution providing for an executive session not open to the public in accordance with the provisions of NJSA 10 colon 4 dash 12. Whereas the subject matters about to be discussed may be excluded. No wonder I can't read. I don't like a So 
we continue. The, whereas the subject matters about to be discussed may be excluded from the public portion of the meeting by resolution, the Board of County Commissioners, as an exception to the Open Public Meetings Act pursuant to NJSA 10 colon 4-12B, and whereas it appears necessary for the Board of County Commissioners to discuss such matters in executive session, now therefore be a result that the Board of County Commissioners of the County of Sussex in accordance with the provisions of NJSA 10 colon 4-12B and NJSA 10 colon 4-13 that the Board at this time enter into an executive session from which the public shall be excluded and be it further resolved that the general nature of the subjects to be discussed relate to the following items authorized by NJSA 10 colon 4-12B as matters relating to collective bargaining agreements be it further resolved that the deliberations conducted in closed session may be disclosed to the public upon the determination of the Sussex County Board of County Commissioners or provided by law that the public interest will no longer be served by such confidentiality and be it further resolved that upon the completion of the business for which the board has entered into the executive session as I understand the board will not reconvene and resume its meeting open to the public rather the board will adjourn the meeting from executive session. I need a motion to adopt the executive session resolution and enter into executive session. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. We are now um, entering into executive session. Thank you uh, for Thank coming you. this Thank evening. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, yes, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care. Here is my.